Here's a quick tip for anyone who's going to be putting up fencing, one by six, one by eight. And that would be that if you go down and you pick it up at the lumber yard, it's fresh wood, it hasn't dried out, then it wouldn't be a bad idea to place all of them as tight as you possibly can together because they will shrink. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go through a couple pictures I took. And this is about a month ago, by the way. You can see the fencing is pretty tight. There's a little gap here. But you can see this is this is just tight. Just shove your boards right up against each other because they will shrink and leave gaps. Now, quick story. My neighbor was building a fence uh, in between our property. Uh, I didn't have the money at the time for the materials. She went down and picked them up. I offered my assistance. She said no. She could do it on her own. She put new lumber fencing up with probably had between three-eighths of an inch to a half-inch gap between the wood because she knew that this wood is, would uh, expand when it was wet. She just didn't realize it was already fully expanded and uh, it shrank and I'm not kidding you we had some some nice big gaps between the fencing so if that's not what you're interested in then you will be able to uh, use the advice definitely use the advice in this video there are some large gaps remember this was tight I put all of this stuff up against each other and within a month this is the result of, a, of, of uh, I want to say less than a month I uh, just looked at the dates on the pictures. I took these pictures this morning. The uh, other pictures were uh, in March. And I want to say it was, uh, I, like I'm saying, I don't think it was more than three weeks, but definitely no longer than four weeks. And there it is. So this is the result, what you're going to end up with if you um, put your lumber, your fencing right next to each other, and then it dries out. But you could just imagine if you left a gap like this in between each each new um, moist fencing board, um, you know, instead of having a quarter inch to a three eighths inch gap, you're going to have a, a half inch to five eighths of an inch gap, or maybe even three quarters of an inch. Don't forget to check out more videos at this link. You can also visit the website. The upper left-hand corner should be a button marked videos. Put together a list of videos that you might have a difficult time finding on YouTube. So organize lists in different categories. Go check it out.